So we have a supermarket here in the United Kingdom. Their tagline is, every little helps. And seemingly, every little helps, apart from giving their own money, but asking you to do the same. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Lovely to see you, and as ever, really nice to have your company. The story I wanted to share with you, because a lot of people who know me from this channel uh, now, since we all started, we're all good friends on here, I do find this charity aspect of businesses really annoying, simply because it always centers around you, the good people who want to do good things and help the charities, but also virtually being forced into doing it, rather than actually your own personal generosity. We've told you time and time again about the CEOs of these charitable foundations who are on triple salaries, having the best offices in London with the best computers, the most luxurious carpets, and you think, okay, hang on a minute, you know, who's paying for all of this? So step forward, one of our leading supermarkets here in the United Kingdom, Tesco. Now they've come up with a brand new incentive which is now set to run between now and October the 3rd. Now here's the deal. If you decide to use the self-service checkout in Tesco, and that's also a bugbear because you're actually trying to do people out of jobs by just replacing them with machines, but more importantly, you're scanning it, you're bagging it yourself. Oh, and don't bring any of that nasty cash. No, just use your car, don't be a nuisance. That's the other deal, right? But now, if you are going to be using one of those self-service tills, as I say, between now and October the 3rd, Tesco are going to ask you very nicely if you'd like to round up the figure to the nearest pound. And then they will be donating that extra money to all the charities that they've decided to allocate it to. You get the picture. What's interesting though, the CEO had a huge pay rise of Tesco last year. They've had record-breaking profits, all thanks to the pandemic. So wouldn't it be more, more kinder, at least, to think, rather than asking their very much cash-strapped shoppers who are facing a cost-of-living crisis to give even more money on their behalf? Then why not simply do it yourself if you truly believe in the cause? As ever, we put a call into Tesco and nobody wanted to respond. They said the statement to their press release said it all. So I thought I'd share it here with you to let you know, and I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Should they be giving the money? Or once again, is it always down to the goodwill and the good heart of the so many people that shop in their stores? Neil Sean, in the very heart of London.